Morgan Sullivan and I'm from Westchester, New York. I'm an actor. I've been acting since I was about eight years old and I moved into the city about six years ago to go to college and start acting professionally. I started socially transitioning about six years ago and then I started medically transitioning through hormones and stuff about four years ago and then I got top surgery three years ago. So I used to only go out pretty much for trans roles because that was all that directors were really seeing me as and for. And there were only a certain amount of roles that were really available to me. Um, so that it was mostly trans roles. And at that time, at least, most of them were just based around medical transition and really melodramatic and, you know, pretty intense. And then as I started medically transitioning, I mostly go out for cis guy roles, like non-trans male roles now, in addition to trans roles. So it was this kind of funny thing because I felt like I was leaving a part of my identity behind. Um, and I felt like there was kind of, there were a few narratives that were missing, specifically people like after they've medically transitioned or just day-to-day -day life of a trans person. I hadn't seen any positive romantic relationships with a trans person. Um, like I just, that was never something that I saw. I had wanted to make a film ever since I was little. I made my parents get me like a little video camera when I was like eight or something. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to make something, but I never really felt like it was something that was feasible. Um, until I saw my friend make a film and she's like this amazing, super cool queer actress and filmmaker based in Brooklyn and she cast me in her film. And so I started talking with her about ideas that I had and everything and she encouraged me to make my film. So I started writing it and producing it and going into pre-production. I remember talking to my girlfriend before I made the film and I was just nervous, I was going back and forth, I don't know if I want to do it. And she said, if you make this thing and you submit it to all these festivals and it does not get into any festivals, will you still be happy that you made it? And I was like, yeah, because I think that it really needs to be made and something that's really important to me. And she said, okay, then you should do it. She's like the most supportive person ever. She's like so super cool and the film is kind of based off of our first date. Um, and it's just like a really sweet summer romance with two trans people and that's all I wanted it to be. I ended up producing it with an entirely trans cast and crew. So every single person that worked on it was trans. Finding my crew once I decided that I wanted to have an entirely trans cast and crew was pretty difficult. Um, I found a lot of my crew members through word of mouth, a lot of them through Facebook. Um, and then casting was a, a pretty interesting process because a lot of trans people are not formally trained. A lot of people don't have representation, so finding people was a little bit tricky. It was a two-day shoot and everyone was like swapping surgery stories, talking about their names and like, pro like we had pronouns on the call sheet. And it also was a, a pretty, because it was a romantic kind of film, it was a pretty like intimate set and just to know that everybody in the room was trans just really like it was just really special and really nice and grounding so we got into outfest which is like this um queer and trans film festival in la which was super exciting we got in, we had our premiere at frameline which is this other queer and trans festival in san francisco a lot of trans people came up to me and they were like i have never seen something like this, like I had never seen something like this before. And oh, that that was exactly like my first date with my partner. Oh, I want a relationship like that so bad. Like just to show that as a possibility for something and for like a young trans person that's coming out or any trans person that's coming out, we're already out just to have that out there. Um, Cause like trans people are super cool and cute and like fun and like we deserve to have nice, happy, sweet relationships too. Working on my own film was one of the most empowering things that I've done for myself as an actor. It's, it's changed everything. That's why I wanted to tell this story because I think that all queer and trans people should be making their own stories. I think it is so super important. I think we have such a unique perspective 
and there are so many different narratives that are still missing. I wanted to write a role for myself that showed, you know, a happy trans person and a happy relationship and um, just an, a nice story. Mm -hmm.